Okay, we're picking up from the last video when you created your index.html file so you could open your first web page. For this video, we're going to reduce some of the code that we have here so we can add some structure to this web page. Uh, I'm going to delete the h6 and h3 tags, and we're going to work just with header 1. And inside of the header 1, I'm going to type in ancient Mesopotamia as an example for one of the websites that Mr. Spence's class is doing and your class might be doing as well or you might be doing another topic of study but ancient Mesopotamia and now that I've made a change I can click control s and that circle will turn to an x that means that we are saved it would be safe to leave and our changes have been saved now we want to give some structure to our web page and I can go back and refresh this page. So we now see my changes, ancient Mesopotamia. Inside of the styles.css page file, we are going to add some structure. And that structure is going to be a first background. And that background is within the body. So we're going to create a starting tag here called body with a curly braces and that is right next to the letter P you have to hit shift and then that button will create a curly bracer when you push enter it makes a closing curly bracer you're gonna type in background dash color a colon and the example we did in class was C green pay close attention to spelling otherwise it's not going to know what you are talking about so pay close attention to spelling, have it match what I have here on my screen. You could also type in blue or red. And notice that the word changes to green, which means that it recognizes what you've typed as a color. If you typed in something like brick red, it doesn't know what that means. There are other versions of red, but you have to know which colors work. And you can do a Google search for that. But I'm going to do sea green click save so what we've said is hey there is this thing called the body and we want the background color of the body which is what you see on a web page to be sea green we want the background to be sea green but in order for our index.html file to find this information we need to link these two together and we do that inside of the index.html file and inside of what's called a head tag. So there are a lot of things popping up on the screen now. It's important to always look at the things that you see and recognize what you know as working and then stay organized. So I know the body works. I know ancient Mesopotamia displayed as my header. Um, yes, my header. Now I've created this new tag called head it's got a closing head tag. If I push enter, I can move things down so I have some room. Stay organized. Make sure to move lines around. Notice I'm taking time to stay organized. Okay, I'm going to move the body down. Inside of the head tag, we're going to create something called a link relative equals. And when you push the quotation key, it's going to create a beginning and ending quotation mark. You're going to type in style sheet. Pay close attention to spelling. And after the last quotation mark, hit spacebar. Type in href. This is a, a word to represent a reference. Hey, reference this other file called styles.css. This line is complicated looking, but take it one letter at a time, one symbol at a time, check your spelling, check your grammar. Grammar in coding is called syntax. Make sure your syntax is correct. And once you've done that, click save. We've told our program here that there is a file called styles.css, and it knows to look right in the same directory that you created earlier called websites.
They're here together. They can find each other. So check your code, make sure it's saved, make sure this is correct and saved. And now back in Google Chrome, you can hit refresh. And there we go. We have a sea green background. If it didn't work, pause the video, go back and watch those steps again. Check your work. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Make sure the symbols are correct. And make sure that they are in the same folder. Now we're going to do one more thing for this video. I want to see my title, Ancient Mesopotamia, displayed in the center of the screen. The title is the biggest, it's at the top, it's in the center. So inside of my styles page, I'm going to make a new line of code here, which is H1, curly bracer, opening curly bracer, and hit enter. We're going to say that anything that is an H1 tag, we want to be centered on the page. And we do that called, or with text align, text dash align. Make sure you're spelling everything correctly. Everything has to be exact. You have to be very precise. Colon. And then you can type in center. And click control S to save. Or you can go to file, save. So we said any header one tag Put it in the center. Align it in the center. Here's our H1 tag. Closing H1 tag. We want that centered. Okay. Let's go over to Google Chrome and let's refresh. And now it's in the center of the page. So you're getting the basis of how to add CSS, some structure, a cascading style sheet is what CSS is to give some information on how to display these things on the page. This is kind of what to display and what it, um, or where it should go. And this is how to add large amounts of changes in structure to similar tags. You'll see more in another video. Good luck. Pause and go back and rewatch the video to make sure you get it all working how you want it. You could play with the color. You could change this to something like blue. Make sure to save it. Go back, refresh. It's blue. You could change it to, um, how about red? Save. Refresh. And it's red. I'm going to go back to C green. Save. I'm quickly saving with Control S. Remember, we'll learn those shortcuts. And refresh. Just Control R, or you can hit the little swirly, and so on. Good luck out there. Have fun. Take it line by line.